Welcome back to Tenorshare everyone. In order to bring everyone to experience the iPhone 15 as soon as possible, I placed an order just 10 minutes after it went on sale. One week later, and now it has arrived. Before we start to activate, let's check out the differences between iPhone 15 and iPhone 14. In my left hand is the iPhone 15 Pro, and in my right hand is the 14 Pro. Now let's look at the frames. The iPhone 14 has the stainless steel, the iPhone 15 Pro has titanium frames, and the more curved edge, which makes your hands more comfortable when you're holding it. What's more, the iPhone 15 Pro mute button has been changed to the action button. You can set it as many default feature. Most importantly, you can set it as shortcut. Last, the charging port. The iPhone 15 has finally changed it to the USB-C, which can charge and transfer data faster than ever. You even can connect an iPhone to an Android or an iPhone 15 to an iPhone 15. See which one is charging the next one. Now, let me show you guys how to set up and activate the new iPhone 15 and transfer your old iPhone data to it. Part 1. How to set up and activate iPhone 15. First, you can hold on the power button until the Apple logo shows up to turn on your iPhone. When the iPhone is on, you should see the iOS 17 startup screen. On the Languages page, you should see a Setup New iPhone option pop up if your iPhone 14 is nearby. If you want to transfer your old iPhone data to your iPhone 15, jump to here. I'll show you the full details on how to transfer old iPhone data to a new iPhone. Let's continue. Select your language and country. Choose the size of the text and tap Continue. Tap Setup without another device. If you don't have old iPhone to transfer data, then continue. Choose your Wi-Fi and connect it. Then the activation process will begin. This might take a while, depending on your network condition. Then, you can choose update the software or later. I'll choose later. Once we get to the data and privacy page, it means the activation is completed. Now we continue. Then you need to decide set up iPhone for yourself or your children. You can set up your face ID or passcode here. For time constraint, I will set up next time. In apps and data page, you can choose to recover your data from these options to your new iPhone. But here I will skip it. Sign in your Apple ID here, or tap the option below to skip it, it's up to you. Agree with the terms and conditions, then you can choose automatically updated iOS or only download iOS. I will choose only auto download. Now you can enable location services for your new iPhone. For Siri and screen time, I will set up later in settings. And for sharing analytics to Apple, it's up to you. For light or dark display, you can choose your preference. I'll keep the dark one and tap continue. Keep continue here. And then you can see the most interesting features on iPhone 15 Pro. The action buttons, let's see what are they. Keep continue for the following settings. And now, we are on the home screen. You can set up some basic features now, like wallpaper, contact poster, etc. By the way, Apple just released iOS 17.0.2 to fix some bugs that may happen in transferring data from old iPhone to new iPhone. You can try to update. If you want to transfer data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone, here's how to do. Before we start, you need to do something first. First is make sure Wi-Fi is in good condition, so it won't interrupt the data transfer. Second is to make sure both phone has enough power. Usually charge more than 60% is a good choice, but don't worry. If don't have enough power, just charge it while transferring data. If you already activated your new iPhone with no data, you can go to settings, general, transfer or reset. Erase all iPhone settings here. Tap continue and erase iPhone. Finally, iPhone will start to reset. Then it will go back to the activate page. Now place two phones near each other. Swipe the new iPhone screen to the language page and the set up new iPhone window will pop up on your old iPhone. If not, just turn off the old iPhone and turn it on again. You should see it. Now tap continue on your old iPhone and use the blue circle to scan the pattern on the new iPhone. Wait for it to get things ready. Tap on set up for me. Skip iMessage and FaceTime settings. Connect to Wi-Fi and keep setting up. These following settings are all up to you. 
When you see transfer data from iPhone, tap on continue. And you need to log into your Apple ID. Agree with the term. Tap continue. Finish the last few settings. Then, you will see data transferring begins. The data transfer will take a long time. If you have a lot of data to transfer, just chill and relax, wait for it complete. Once the transfer is completed, your new iPhone will restart. Now you can see everything from my old iPhone is transferred to my new iPhone 15 now. Apps, photos, videos. Nothing is left behind. The last but not least, the action button is pretty cool and exclusive to iPhone 15. You could try the shortcuts you like. Just hold on the action button. Silent mode. Focus. Voice memo, etc. Okay, that's it. If you're activating or transferring data to your new iPhone, but occurring some problems, don't worry. I will also post a video about how to fix these problems very soon. So subscribe to us and see you next time.